Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more videos like this. The Toyota Tacoma pickup is built in America for Americans and Canadians to dodge the chicken tax, but 181 other countries around the world get the Toyota Hilux pickup. It looks a bit like our Tacoma, but more basic. You'd recognize it from global news footage of relief aid or conflict areas. Well, apparently it had gotten a trifle fancy and at about $15,200 to start, it was pricing itself out of some of those markets. The Toyota IMV0 intends to fill in that low-cost space beneath the Hilux with a target starting price of $10,000. It made its debut at the 2023 Japan Mobility Show, wearing cool Land Cruiser 70 Series style. Shortly after the Tokyo show, we took one for a spin. Toyota has rethought every inch at this truck with an eye toward cost optimization in delivering everything that's absolutely necessary and nothing that's not. The development team even invited upfitters from around the globe to weigh in on how to better optimize the chassis and cab for to prepare them for aftermarket builds. Here are some of the changes, what's still included, or what's been left out all flat glazing for the windshield, side, and rear windows. Flatbed with no sides is standard, with a limited number of upgrades like the drop side model we drove. No anti-lock braking, but a load-sensitive proportioning valve is standard, and ABS will be optional. Hilux's standard ABS makes it difficult for upfitters to install heavier-duty rear axles no airbags, these will also be optionally available or standard in some markets, no armrests, just door pockets that double as door pulls. Crank windows plastic and rubber galore inside Hilux control arm, coil sprung front slash leaf sprung rear chassis easily upgraded for higher GVWR gas or diesel four-cylinder power exact powertrain specs have not been disclosed, but we presume our example was fitted with the Hilux's entry 2.0 liter 139 horsepower four-cylinder gas engine in a five-speed manual transmission. We're guessing the diesel will be the 2.4 liter 150 horsepower Hilux unit, but several engines are likely to be offered. Although it had airbags and ABS, this simplified truck felt way lighter than its size suggested, so it gathered speed faster than expected. Its long shifters motion recollected full-size Yank truck of yore, though its respectable precision did not. The bluff flat glass windshield generates some wind noise at highway speeds, but engine and road noise generated by the Bridgestone Duravis R611 commercial vehicle tires, 215-65R16 for plenty of sidewall, keeps your ears from fixating on it. We had no real chance to throw the IMV0 around any curves, but then what potential customer will? Braking felt firm and confidently able to woe a lot more mass. But in today's world of $50,000 medium price new vehicles in the US, it was incredibly refreshing to drive such a basic, no frills, transportation device. Driving this truck, you're instantly aware of how it will enable people in other corners of the world to do the hard work necessary to make a living, build a community, help others, etc. In that way it's a very different type of lifestyle vehicle than we're accustomed to dot is outfitted. The drop side flatbed featured a tailgate without latches, you simply rotate and slide a pin on each side to open or secure it. There's a bed step to assist climbing up. It's just a hole stamped and folded over in the roughly 3 16 inch steel forming the bed side. There are flat spaces galore to which items can be affixed, and there are mounting points for roof racks along the upper sides of the cab. But Toyota's longer-range plan is to minimize profit on sale of the basic truck, and earn on the upfit potential. Two on display at this year's Japan Mobility Show depicted a straight-up workhorse carrying a heavy load, and one outfitted as a pop-up coffee shop. Computer images showed it serving as an overlanding camper, a race support vehicle, etc. Rest assured, the third world is bound to put an IMV0 to work doing way heavier and harder things than any of these ideas. The canoe pickup and canoe van family of electric vehicles feature rounded, faux forward control styling evocative of 1960s vans and trucks. These products will share mechanicals with a line of commercial vans that employ a more angular, interior volume maximizing design. In the passenger van, tall seating areas with no combustion engine in the way accommodate seven people in a compact car footprint, and a loft-inspired interior features recycled materials and facilitates a high degree of potential customization. The truck pairs a 2 plus 2 passenger extended cab with a full 6-foot bed and an overall length 21 inches shorter than today's smaller box compact pickups. A slide-out floor extends the box length to 8 feet, and the barn door-style tailgate includes fold-out panels to enclose the additional space. Portions of the box's tall walls fold down to provide workspace, and there's a storage front. Power outlets in the box and front can provide power at a campsite or on the job. The Southern California based EV startup enjoys Chinese investment backing, and its founders cut their teeth at Faraday Future and BMW. 
the retail van and pickup are expected to pioneer a subscription-based ownership model, while sales of the commercial delivery van keep the company's lights on. The compelling design, high degree of product standardization, and cost-saving innovations like selling a single exterior color with wraps that provide individuality seem to tilt the odds of long-term viability in Canoe's favor. Platform and powertrain. Economies of scale are realized by sharing a fully electric skateboard chassis with a 112.2-inch wheelbase. Initial power offerings will include a 300 horsepower, 332 pound to foot single rear motor or front and rear motors that Canoe says provide up to 600 horsepower and 550 pounds to foot of torque combined in all wheel drive. An 80 kilowatt hour battery is said to deliver 200 miles of range in the AWD pickup and 250 miles in the rear drive van. Different commercial van wheelbases, battery pack sizes, and motor combinations are expected to follow. The AWD pickup truck is rated for 1,800 pounds of maximum payload, but towing capacity is yet to be announced. Estimated price, Canoe has yet to divulge details of its subscription model, but we expect retail pickup and van pricing will fall somewhere between $35,000 and $50,000.